what is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks where we unbox and review cool shit almost every single day and in today's video we are unboxing some of the coolest shit because this is your guys' shit. Yes, this is Mailbox Monday, the series where I open fan mail from you guys. So, we have a shitload of stuff here. We're going to start with the smaller envelopes and work our way all the way over to the stuff that is just so big that I can't even fit it in the frame right now. Someone paid $160 to have this box shipped to me. That's how big it is. That's what she said. So, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get on into it. The first envelope we have is from Christina Campbell. And it says, I hate AJ Good right here on the outside. Try to be nice and easy, just like your mom. and see what we got. Ooh, got some fan art. Hella cool fan art. Look at that. That's so rad. All right, we've got a note here. And it reads, <clears throat> Hey AJ, my name is Christina. I'm 14. I'm from the small town of Mariamichi, New Brunswick. That is interesting. I bet you get this a lot, but you are such an inspiration. You have helped me through tough times. I'm so thankful. I used to get bullied a lot at school because I listen to metal and don't really fit in with the norm of what a kid my age should be, but you have showed me that I don't need to be like them. If I follow what I'm passionate about and just laugh at the haters, I'll be able to reach my goals. Congrats on the new building, by the way. I'm so happy for you. Not only are you an inspiration to me, but you've also helped me to discover new music. So thanks for that as well. I really wish I could support you on Patreon or buy your merch. My mom says I'm not allowed to have Patreon and she will kill me if I use her credit card to buy stuff. So until I'm old enough to have my own card and Patreon, I will try to support you as much as possible. Your YouTube is crazy good and it deserves more popularity. Anyways, that's all for me. I will continue to say no to drugs and alcohol. Bye. Well, thank you. What a heartfelt little letter there. I actually really appreciate that. And seriously, don't worry about the Patreon stuff. That is just for people who are able and want to do that. This right here means more than enough to me and I definitely appreciate it. So thank you very, very much. And uh, yeah, I hope things get better for you. And seriously, fuck everybody else. It's all about you. So make it the Christina show. Everybody else can eat shit. So thank you very, very much. I'm going to take very good care of this because I actually really, really like that. So, all right, next up, we've got a package from Bambi Lancaster and it says book. I think this is probably a Goosebumps book if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. It's the Gnomes book and I don't know if I have this actually now that I'm thinking about it. I, I should but I don't know if I do. And it also looks like there is a note on the inside, so let's read that as well. Dear AJ, longtime fan, you inspired me to start my own collection. Thanks, congrats on the new space, it looks awesome. Hope this made it safely. Keep rocking to your own tune from Bambi Lancaster. Well, it did make it safely, and I definitely appreciate it, and thanks for the kind words. Next up, we have a package from Old Vegas Co. If you guys remember correctly, they actually sponsored a video not too long ago. They sponsored one of the drummer reviews, and uh, he wanted to send me some merch, but the merch just didn't make it here on time, so I wasn't able to do it in the last Mailbox Monday. But we've got it here now, and uh, I'm excited to see what he sent me, because uh, a lot of those designs were actually really cool. There's not a lot of times that I actually care about the sponsor that's sponsoring the videos, but uh, I got on his website and he's got super legit stuff. So first up, we've got this No Tomorrow tea, which is super fucking cool. Very depressing, right up my alley. And next up, we've got this super sick old Vegas skull shirt. I really like the pocket designs there. And then we've got the same graphic on the back. If you guys are interested in old Vegas Co. stuff, I will be putting their information down below. Super nice guy, super legit clothes. I think it's something that you guys would be interested in if you're watching my channel right now, which you are because you can hear these words. So yeah, huge thank you to old Vegas. I will definitely be rocking these and uh, I'm looking forward to getting more from you in the future. All right, moving right along, we have something from Anthony Hicks, or Tony James Hicks, as I know him. And I actually know what this is, so I have to figure out something to do with this or these. I don't know how many he sent, but we'll see. I'm sure if you guys are in the loop, you've probably seen these floating around. We've got these little teeny tiny resin clowns. And I believe that I'm going to be doing some custom paint work on these guys. There's one, and here is another. 
And uh, yeah, I need to figure out how I want to paint those. We've also got some holographic stickers in there. So hell yeah, I will definitely uh, try to come up with something cool. I've seen other people painting these that got them off of Tony and uh, they look pretty fucking rad. So I'm excited to uh, see what I can do with them. So yeah, a huge thank you to Tony. I love little cool stuff like that and hopefully I can do those justice and uh, you dig the paint jobs that I do. I have no idea what I'm going to do but I will think about it now that they're out, now that I'm going to be looking at them, and uh, yeah, hopefully I can make something cool. Okay, next up, Return Cinder, the Flatwoods Monster Museum. We've gotten package after package from the Flatwoods Monster Museum, Mr. Andrew Smith. So let's see what they've sent this time. Always good stuff. All right, we've got a letter that says, Dear AJ, it's been a little bit since I sent you something from the Flatwoods Monster Museum, so I thought I would send you some new stuff that we sell. We did our version of the old animal chin design. Interesting. From the Bones Brigade on a sticker in a shirt, so I included a few of those for you. We also just started producing resin figures of the monster and just today got these green keychains. Hope you like them. If any of your viewers want to learn more about us, they can visit flatwoodsmonstermuseum.com or on YouTube at BraxtonWV. Thanks for all the great content. Really looking forward to what will become of the new space. Lots of love for the new space today. I love that. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we've got in here. So, here is, oh my god. God, that's so solid and sturdy and, and super sick. That is uh, the little resin figure there. And it almost looks 3D printed, but it, it really is solid. Like that's not plastic, that's resin for sure. Uh, that is super, super cool. We've got the little keychain there, which is obviously the state of West Virginia with the Flatwoods Monster logo on there. And then uh, we got the Animal Chin stuff there. Classic, a couple of those stickers, those are super rad. And then a couple shirts. Oh my God, I love it. How fucking rad. Dude, so cool. And I needed some white tees. Oh yeah, I love it. And I'm not even into cryptids. I'm only into cryptids because I used to work with a guy that was really into them and because of the Flatwoods Monster Museum's continuous support on this channel. Uh, we got some flyers here from Braxton County. Just some little stuff to do down there. That is a uh, hella fucking cool. I love the t-shirts. I love those stickers. I love this guy. I love lamp. I love lamp. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really stoked. I think that was maybe the best package that you guys have ever sent me. So Andrew, thank you. Flatwoods Monster Museum, thank you guys very, very much. I will use all of this with pride. Moving right along, yet another box. This is from Corey DeCosti or DeCost. I'm not, not real sure. You guys know that uh, names aren't my strong suit. So let's see what we've got inside. All right, first up, we've got a letter. Hello, AJ, I'm glad to see that you guys are getting out great content like always. I have not stopped watching for years. I've sent in for a Mailbox Monday, episode 47, the Squirtle one. I actually remember that. Anyways, this is another Mailbox Monday parcel for you. A lot of WWF nostalgia in here from my favorite tag team ever. I also included a mask that my girlfriend gave to me to do something with to send to you. Two masks were done with 600 grit sandpaper, then colored with Copic markers, and the silver one was just rubbed with the same sandpaper. Until next time, good luck with the new space. All this new space love. Keep doing the videos, and as always, I hate AJ Good. Peace. P.S. Please shout out my Instagram at Deco902. That is D-E-C-O 902. Well, hell yeah. Sounds like a good time. Let's see. We've got some fan art. A little House of Masks fan art there. And then we've got the masks. So let's see here. Here is the first one. Definitely reminds me of Kiss. Oh, we got a WWF logo on there, hell yeah. Got some I Hate AJ Good action going on on the inside. And I don't know what material this is, but it's uh, it's really strong. And I think based on that mask and this mask, we're starting to get with uh, some sort of Road Warriors theme. Yeah, definitely a Road Warriors theme. Here we've got the uh, classic spider on the forehead there and some more I Hate AJ Good on the inside. And then we've got one last one. I'm guessing this is the silver one. Some more I Hate AJ Good on the inside and then just a nice weird Imperial Triumphant style mask. Ooh. Hell yeah, man. Definitely some nostalgia in there. I should have caught on on the first one after you said some WWF nostalgia from your favorite tag team that that was Road Warrior stuff, but I didn't. I'm retarded. Well, hell yeah, man. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Anytime it's WWF related, it's going to be a good time. All right. The second to last one, this is from Hayden, aka Hayden's Art on Instagram. 
Let's uh, go ahead and see what we've got. This is quite a heavy package, if you know what I mean. And uh, this dude does phenomenal little like colored pencil artworks on uh, Instagram. Super, super cool stuff. So I'm excited to see what he sent in. Um, looks like some framed items. And there's some notes. Let's read those first. Dear AJ, please find and close two of my framed original pics plus a bunch of my stickers as a thank you gift for being such a positive influence on myself and no doubt countless others. You inspired me to ditch less creative pastimes and take up art again, having done nothing since school many years ago. I tip my hat to you for closing messages of say no to drugs and alcohol after wasting many years myself. Hell yeah, glad to see that you're not still trapped in that. It's great to see you doing so well and inspiring people to spend their time and money on things they love instead of getting wasted. Big respect, I hate AJ Good from hate. Dude, awesome fucking letter, thank you. I appreciate that and I couldn't have said it any better myself. Why waste your money on something that is going to be temporary, it's gonna make you feel like shit, it's gonna make you act stupid, and it's going to damage your body when you could buy cool stuff to just have. You can just have that stuff. My stuff's not gonna leave me. I'm not gonna make bad decisions because of my stuff, so hell yeah. You hit the nail right on the head with that one. So, we've got uh, some stickers here. Nice little sticker pack. I'll show these off one by one. Here we've got the homemade clown. Here we've got a We Are Not Your Kind Sid. Tiny homemade clown. This is a, a girl, Cory. Cory, that's a female. Mayhem clown. Holographic, we are not your kind clown. Joey with his signature snare. That's a super cool one, I really like that. Also really like this, self-titled clown. And last but not least, we've got the not fest Sid Wilson. So that's fucking rad. And now we've got uh, some framed originals. I'm actually really curious to get into these because I have no idea what ones they are. Oh man, you done went and did it to me. The one that I said that I loved, out of the two that I said that I loved, we've got the self-titled clown. That's super fucking legit. God, it looks so good. Dude, thank you, that's fucking rad. Oh, and he sent another one that I said I really liked. I can see it already. Can you guys tell what one it is? Oh man, I'm happy. Dude, fucking sick. Look at that, oh man. You're gonna make me tear up. Oh, dude, super fucking cool. Thank you so much for those. I'm uh, genuinely stoked. Artist to artist, these are fucking fantastic. Your positive message about my positive message just makes it even better. Like, genuinely, sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I really, really like these. All right, so that just about does it. Uh, last but not least, we have this just insanely large package, kind of like your mom got last night. And uh, I don't even know how to open this box. Like, it's two boxes taped together, so we're just gonna start, I guess, cutting it in half. I don't really know what else to do, so bear with me for a second. I'll just uh, skip all this until I've got the package open, but yeah, give me a second. All right, so I finally got it in two pieces here, which was not an easy feat. And I guess before I pull whatever's in here out of here, I should go ahead and let you guys know that this is from a patron of mine, Mr. Phil McLean. And uh, I have no idea what it is, but I know that he had a hell of a time getting it here. And uh, it's no fucking wonder because the box is huge. It's very heavy and it costed $160 to ship to me. So I'm really fucking curious as to what it is. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try to pop this off now, I guess. It looks like, holy shit, a headstone? <laughs> Professional YouTuber strikes again. Okay, so, I mean, it's clearly a headstone and uh, it's got like my logo on the front, what the fuck? It's so, the box is so big that I actually knocked the tripod over taking it out. Oh my lord, look at that! What? 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 Dude, that is fucking so sick! It's got my logos, it's got the year, the back of it is fucking vandalized and says I hate AJ Good. That's the coolest fucking thing I think I've ever received on Mailbox Monday. What? Dude, that is fucking sick. This is going right in the window up there with Michael Myers so everybody can see this on the streets. Uh, wow. Wow! Dude, I'm speechless. What a good Mailbox Monday. I'm so glad I decided to record this one and actually edit it and not do a live because I really want people to see this. <sighs> I don't know what to say. 
I don't know what to say. I need to recoup. Hang on. All right, so uh, I'm composed now, and I found in the bottom of the package a note, so we're gonna read that real quick. What's up, AJ? Phil here from Denver, Colorado. I've been following the House of Masks for a few years now, and just recently started putting a little more focus into my collection and mask making. My main hobby is building large theatrical props and film displays. No shit. This time of year I like making custom tombstones as well. Usually I make them for local businesses that like displaying them around Halloween, movie theaters, bars, liquor stores, Halloween shops, etc. I will carve their business logo into it with their established date. Looks good lit up in a window or a lobby. Man, you're reading my fucking mind right now. So that brings us to this very large box. After you were able to acquire your new space, which is fantastic by the way, I thought that I would start off my tombstone making this year with a House of Mask stone. Consider it a housewarming gift or a congrats on the new space. Hell yeah. I got to use some different techniques and materials making this one, so it was a lot of fun to do. I hope that you enjoy it and can find a good use for it. Thanks for all you do for the mask community and keep the videos coming. Phil McLean, Facebook and Instagram at Warwolf Projects, warwolfprojects at gmail.com. P.S. Usually I would ship these in a few different pieces that need assembled to cut down on box size and shipping, but I wanted to make sure that you just have one box ready to go just in case it ended up on a mailbox Monday or something, so I apologize for the box. Don't apologize. This is hands down one of the coolest fucking things we've ever received on here, and I appreciate everything about it. The fact that you did ship it in one box, you spent that amount of money, the fact that it is what it is, like, ah, oh, it's so cool, I don't even know what to say. Uh, and just your patronage in general is appreciated, and uh, man, this was a good Mailbox Monday. I'm just, I feel the love. That's all I can say, I feel the love. And I appreciate all of you guys, and uh, whew, good stuff, good stuff. Am I getting old? Why am I so emotional? I don't fucking know. Hey, we're gonna end this Mailbox Monday. I don't think I can take much more. And that will be that. So huge thank you to everybody that sent in. Uh, and a huge thank you to anybody that's going to send in. If you would like to send something in, as always, I'm going to add my address down below in the description. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what you guys have to send in, especially after this episode. Wow. So yeah, uh, I'm going to leave you guys with some nice up-close shots of everything that we got today, and that will be that. So thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed it. And until next time, this has been AJ Good at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol, and we'll see you guys later.